Hello. So today I'm gonna to show you a different application method. You usually see me go in with a brush and put it on, but I washed my hands, it's important, and I'm just gonna spot it on. And I'm gonna do this because, I don't know how close you can get, I have like this discoloration here in just a few spots. And so I'm gonna use, if you think of like a red wall, you can't just put like a light color over it. You have to kind of like cancel it out. And so just putting another color, like my skin color over it, isn't gonna cancel it out. So I put a slightly darker color over it. And that's the great thing about cream is that I don't need to go in with a lighter color over that color. They're gonna blend really nicely. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my finger and you don't need a lot. I think for me, uh, I have always shied away from this method is because People like, they go hard and it's like too, my face cannot handle a lot of product. The plus of this method is the product warms up on your face so you can blend it out nicely. It warms up on your finger. So I'm just putting it where I have, it's like a half moon pie shape and where I just have a little bit of breakout. And then a little bit, I have a lot like deep blue right in here. But usually you want to go lighter in your under eyes to bring them out. But do you see the difference? Like you see the light reflecting off my blue here. It's kind of just neutralizing that. And then I can get a little bit of darkness around my nose. And then on my forehead, I have just a few spots. So. That's the great part about using your finger. You can get really precise, or you can use a small brush. Then I'm gonna take, I use the color Sandy. I'm just gonna take my main color and put it on. And just dot it all over. This is meant to be super fast. I'm all about speed. and I'm not putting it where I put the darker color. And I'm just gonna take whatever's left over and kind of get under, I'm not going fully up, just on the ridge, the bone. And then I'm gonna take my like brightening color and I'm just gonna like plop that in a few spots. Sometimes I like to go in and do that after I've blended this all out. All right, and then you can go in with your contour and do the same thing. So I'm just kind of feeling for my bone. I'm using the color Henna. It's got a lot of green in it. And if you look, you can almost see like, I have no product there, this brown this year, that is green. If you have melasma and it's gonna look like brown spots on your skin, it's caused by excess green in your skin. And keep in mind too, where you place things, it's going to depend on a couple of things. One, your face shape, but two, like what is your goal? Like for my cheeks, I'm just accentuating what's over there. For my forehead, I'm trying to minimize it because I have these little peaks that just make it look bigger. And so I'm gonna bring it down a little farther. You may not want to bring your down, yours down as far. You just wanna do it on the hairline just for that dimension. All right, and then next, get a mirror so I can see. I'm gonna just blend it out. And it'll all blend together so pretty. The only thing I'm not exactly gonna blend is the light spots on my eye. Cause I wanna do those with my finger. 
just find that I can do that a little more gently than with a brush. And I find that I can be totally guilty of with a brush, like pushing too hard. You don't need to like bang your face. And I can be like, the closer you hold it into the brush, the more pressure you're gonna apply. And I can be really guilty of just like, cause I'm usually speeding through it of like going in hard. And that skin is so thin on your face. You don't want to go in hard. Oh, I have a cat crying at me. Well, oh, hi, bud. But do you see how that's all blending together so nicely? Let me get this contour up here. You can even go ahead and spot on your bronzer and your blush. I like to do that at the end. Okay, now you see how beautifully, oh, kitty cat, what are you doing? Just checking in my mirror to see if I missed anything. It blended so nicely. So now I'm gonna take my finger and just pat this part in. Again, like I said, I can be really hard on my skin there. So if I use my finger, I can be much more gentle. My cat loves boxes. He's trying to climb into a box. Bud, you're too big. My, he's like the size of Garfield. You're too big to fit in the box. You're not gonna fit in there, buddy. <laughs> okay. And I just take anything that's left over on the top of my lid. And I'm just patting the warmth of your finger against your skin will help warm it up. So you don't need to like pull your skin and swipe. You can just pat and that will be enough to move it. All right. And as you can see, no harsh lines. And then I'll go in and contour down here. So I'm going to kind of tuck it under the natural shadow I have there. And bring it down. And you can bring contour down your neck if you'd like. You can use your highlight color that you used. My neck stays much lighter than my face and my um, chest. But you think about it, it's like your chin is shading it. So it's just not going to get the same color exposure. So don't forget your neck. I know sometimes it feels a little extra, but otherwise you're almost like a floating head. Or if you're wearing like a V-neck, it's like these two are the same color and this is a different color. So don't be afraid to take your product down there. And then I will use bronzer. Like I said, you could do the same method and just, they call it the cheetah hack or, I mean, I don't know, there's a bunch of different names for it. You could spot the bronzer on too, but I like to use a fluffy brush versus my fingers for that. You can take it down here, but you're gonna put bronzer on your cheekbones and your forehead a little bit. Cause you're just basically, contour provides shadow. It's what's giving your face depth and dimension. Shadow is going to make things recede. Light's going to make things come forward. So it's going to usually be a more neutral color. Um, bronzer, on the other hand, is to make you look like you have a tan. It's typically more warmer than a contour, and they're placed differently. Although you can kind of, you know, use them a little bit interchangeably depending on the color. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. I usually do my bl blush at the end because it depends on the color I want to use for my eyes. So I'm going to rush through this because this is mostly just to show you how to use the other method for your... application. Okay. Get my brush. That brush. I'm gonna take, actually, first, I'm gonna go in with Mama. These tins for eyeshadow are really big. You get more eyeshadow than you get in a lot of brands. So some of the ones I have, they, uh, Saint reformulated eyeshadows, I'm not sure how long ago, but I still have some that are the old formulation. 
because <laughs> that's how long and i use these all the time but that's how long they last because there's so much of it i'm just kind of putting that down as a base then i'm going to go in with this end and the reason i'm going to do that is because i have deep set eyes and placement super matters and I don't want to, sometimes I can be guilty of diffusing it too much and then it's too much product. Like you can blend over blend product and then it's too much and it gets a little messy. So you can just take a more dense, smaller end and place, it just gives you more precision with that darker color. And then you can go out and blend. And you're just blending, not necessarily to diffuse the product over your eye. You're blending to just get rid of harsh lines. And it's just real subtle. I don't want to go super dark today, so. And I'm going to start in here. And I'm kind of actually just following my uh, eyebrow a little bit. And I kind of flare out at the end as if it's going to meet my eyebrow at some point in the distance. And you see how that's just more soft and gentle than if I taken that color and just plopped it all over. Although I certainly do that. Okay, then what I'm going to do is go in. What color do I want to go in with? I just got some new colors, but I have them put away. Okay. Let's see what color this is. Oak. I'm going to go in with oak. Just on the outer part. It's oak's not a super dark brown, so. It helps add dimension, but it's really soft. And if you're nervous about eyeshadow, go in with lighter colors and just work your way up. Because if you go in with too dark of a color, I mean, you can somewhat fix it, but it's easier to start lighter and then work up to a more intense color if you're uncomfortable with it. All right, then I'm gonna take one of my favorite colors, As You Wish. See this, I dropped it, but look, only a little chunk fell out. So these eyeshadows are really good. As You Wish has got like a peachy pink reflect. And since I'm wearing a green shirt today, I also could have gone in with like a dark green color. I might go back and do that still. Would be pretty. Very springy. I think I am gonna do that just for fun. So I'm gonna go into the color, well, I don't know. It's like a forest green color. This was back in the day when they didn't put the colors on the back. Now they put the colors on the back so you know what you're, you know what it is, but that's how old some of my product is. I'm actually just gonna keep that really close to the lash line. Highlight color. It's like this real. I don't like powder highlights on my skin. My skin <laughs> on my cheekbones. I would take a cream highlight because I don't like chunky glitter. But on the inside of your eye, the corner, it's really pretty. Um, and then the last thing I'll do is just take that mama color again through the crease, just to kind of make sure that's all blended together. I just dipped once, doing both eyes, and. Then I will 
line my waterline. The trick with liner, if you're using a pencil or a crayon like this, you have got to make sure it's sharp. This is the Thrive and it comes with a sharpener on the back end. This pencil doesn't smudge too much. Of all the pencils I've used, it smudges the least. I've seen Harmonized Beauty use the Patrick Tall one, so I wanna try that out. I've used, like everyone ranted and rave it, raved about, I'm trying to think of who it was. And they had a gel waterline, waterproof eyeliner, and it stunk. It did not work for me. So what I'm trying to do is get in my lashes underneath because I have deep set eyes and my goal is to make my eyes look bigger if I do a big line on my lash line I'll <laughs> I'll do a tutorial one day on like things to be mindful of I don't believe in rules so I don't want to say don't do things to be mindful of when you do your makeup taking your eyeliner and like just going ham underneath and going ham on top if you have deep set eyes or smaller eyes, it just makes them look smaller. But if your goal is to draw attention to your eyes, this is why I say there's no rules, then that is something that would work. So I like to just predominantly, if I'm going on top of my eye, it's just to do a baby wing. Super simple. And then mascara, I wanna try out some new mascaras too. I love the Thrive, it's expensive. And I feel like the tubes are hit and miss. Okay, there's that. The last thing I'm gonna do, the very last thing is my lips and, guys, there's so many, this is the fun part of makeup, there's so many tricks you can do. So you can line your lips if you wanna make your lips look bigger and not actually get lip injections. I like to line my lips, I like my lips, I like the size, I don't need them any bigger is because you start to lose the natural contour when you place product there. So I just like to go back in and re-add that. On me, it's very brown and green. So I'm using the olive contour. It's a little bit deeper than henna. Henna's a little too light. And I'm just going naturally where I have it. I'm not going out of that. And I'm just kind of blending it. I'll do a little bit up here. <laughs> I don't do too much contouring on my top look because I feel silly. But one trick you can do is and I'll show you is to use highlight on the top versus just contour. All right, and then the last thing is I'm gonna, you guys have only, okay. I've got the same stuff I ordered here. I ordered the moisturizer, like I got. I maybe need to get a little more organized. But organization cleaning is the last thing on my daily list. Gonna use my finger, make sure it's clean. I'm using the color Cindy. It says become one of my favorite colors. 
And actually, I think I'm going to put that on. My cheeks. And you can just go whoop. Don't be afraid of going in. It'll blend out nicely and it'll wear down. It's the first thing that'll wear down. And then cream illuminator, I love the color Angel. I'm so excited, I just got a new background to hang here so you don't see my treadmill all the time. The illuminator you're gonna put in the high points on your face, so your cheekbone, not your crow's feet, the center of your nose, and right here on your lips. Oh, it's so pretty on your cupid's bow and you can put a little bit on the center there voila and i think hopefully i have a whole list of videos i want to make doing more on contour um and then some great spring blushes <laughs> my olympics with our my team with saint it was two weeks it's ending this weekend and so i had a lot of tasks to do with that so it was kind of hard to do my to do some of my own things so and plus babysitting that's it this is another method of application where you just some people call it the cheetah hack some people call it i don't know i forget there's a whole bunch of names where you just spot it with your fingers but you see like you can't really tell that i put a darker color here and here like it just blends so beautifully. So that's it. I gotta go make my kids some pancakes now. So I will catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Like and please share. That's always super helpful um, for anyone whose content um, you consume. So thanks for being here. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh yeah, comment down below if you've ever tried this. What's your favorite method, brush or fingers?